If you want to run profitable ads on Facebook, then I got something very cool for you today. I'm reviewing a brand new app, which is called Amplify, that allows you to lower your ad cost by using the seven tools that are built into the system. I'm going to show you every detail about this product. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly what it is in a second. Hey there, this is Tim Verdau and thank you for checking out my Amplify review. Now, before I dive into this review, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video uh, that will redirect to my website, where I'm also going to give you some extra bonuses if you decide to pick up this product through my link. Now, one of my bonuses is a free My One Link account that allows you to set up a single web page uh, that links to all of your social profiles to all of your websites so it's a very powerful platform online based platform you're going to get lifetime access to this product and the second one which is even more powerful you're going to get a free chat tower bot account now this allows you to link your facebook pages and when you run ads to your facebook pages um, this bot is going to respond automatically to everyone that's responding to your posts and also going to send out private messages. It's very powerful and you're going to get a lifetime account completely free at no cost. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you uh, what this product is all about. All right, so Amplify, what can you do with this app? Now, like I said, when you log in, this is what you will see. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven applications into one application. You can also access them from the left menu here. Uh, but let's just go over them and let me explain you what these application uh, will do for you. So first thing is the ad watcher. Now, the ad watcher allows you to spy on your competitors' ads. So what you can do is you copy one of the pages of your competitors or a Facebook page that you want to see what kind of ads they're running and you click on add new and you paste that page in here and what that does is it gives you all the ads like you see right in here I already added Adilo Groove apps as you can see these two have 14 ads running for their company now Groove apps is a company that I promoted myself heavily last year also with paid ads very profitable and you can click on view ads and this allows you to check out all the ads that this company this that this facebook page is running on facebook so the first tool is a spy tool to spy on your competitors you can see exactly when they started running their ads so as you can see here uh, this ad for example started running on december the 3rd 2020 so this is a profitable ad otherwise they would have killed this ad so you can check out this ad and you can use that for your own company or if you're an affiliate marketer uh, you can copy the style of these ads and run ads yourself to this company now uh, when you click on these ads also you will be redirected to the ads yourself i think you can click on this link and then it will open now, in this case, it will open the page, uh, but also see add details. Normally, you can also click on, here you see sign up, but sometimes it also shows more info. Learn more, probably this one, and then it will redirect you. Yes, I will follow this link. It will redirect you to the landing page where this ad is going to. So you can see here, this is the landing page of this ad. So it also allows you to check out all the landing pages where these ads are pointing to. That's the first part, which is called Ad Watcher. The second app is the Interest Finder. Now, this is a very powerful ad right, uh, app. Right now, it's not working because I just talked with them on Skype and I said, there's a thing that needs to be improved. They're working on it right now. So probably I cannot show you how this works. So when I click on search, it says no data available. But I already used this tool before, so I go to my favorites. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to find interests that you normally cannot find when you run Facebook ads. And this is very powerful. When I go to my ads account, you can see this is my ads account. I already created an ad to show you how powerful this tool is. So when I search, for example, when I want to run an ad for dogs here, when you go to the detail targeting, 
When you normally search for docs, let me see if this is going to load the results. Probably, yeah, there it was, docs. When I do this, as you can see here, Facebook normally, your ads editor comes up here with only 25 results. Do you see that? We only get 25 results that we can choose from. So this is the targeting that you have when you run Facebook ads. Nothing more, you can only target on those 25 results. It's very, very limited. Now, what Amplify is allowing you to do is you search for a specific keyword, as you can see here, ClickFunnels. Uh, when I opened this one, I didn't search for ClickFunnels, but I searched for marketing, the word that I just typed. As you can see here, all marketing companies are available. These are the results that I stored. And as you can see here, I stored 129 results. Uh, you get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of results within Amplify. Instead of only 25 results, you get hundreds of results. And unfortunately, I cannot show you right now how it works. But when you get a result, you see, for example, that one result, like in here, let's say fitness, um, it gives you one result. Normally, when this tool is working, they're working on it right now. You can also see, let's say that physical exercise has 1 million people in that audience. You can click on that physical exercise and get subcategories also that you can that you can choose from. So you can target very specifically by using Amplify and that way you are lowering your ad cost because you can say exactly to who you want to advertise. And that's very powerful. Once you've done that, let's say the dog strain, you can see that here also a lot of dog pages. Let's say we want to target these dog pages. You can export this as a text file and then you can open this text file. You can copy these results and then you can go to your ads manager and you can paste in all these results in your app manager. And look what happens now. You have all these results, hundreds of results that you can advertise to instead of only these 25. And this is one of the most powerful and one of my favorite parts of Amplify. The next one is the retarget filter. This is also a very powerful. I think the interest finder and the, or the first three are the most powerful. The retarget filter allows you to retarget specific audiences uh, on your website. So when I click on add new, you need to select your Facebook ads account and then you need to select your pixel. You give this audience a name. So let's say I want to target everyone that is visiting my checkout page and my URL contains also checkout. So what I'm saying to Amplify is create an audience from everyone that visits a URL with checkout. And then I want to target everyone 180 days. That's the max that you can do. And I want to have them, the time on my website, let me zoom in, the time on my site is at least 30 seconds, for example. And then I can add a refinement and I can also say, for example, they have scrolled at least 35%. And so this way you can add all these filters here. Uh, you can also say is at least, is greater than, is less than. You can choose from these, language, referral source, number of visits, date of visits, visiting device, or the campaign specific advertising. You can choose those. And once you have done this, you can click on create audience and it's going to create an audience automatically into your Facebook account where you can uh, target this specific audience when you run ads. So you can run ads specifically to the people that are visiting your checkout page or your opt-in page or your sales page. Very powerful uh, to create custom audiences. So that's the third application that you're going to get. Now I need to log in. So I'm not sure why I was logged out. So let me do that. So the next one is email to audience. Honestly, this is also a very powerful one. What this uh, one allows you to do is it allows you to connect your autoresponder. So when I click on autoresponder here, you have the option to connect those autoresponders. At this moment, a Weber, Constant Contact, GetResponse, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, MailEngine, and SendGrid uh, are supported. What that allows you to do is to upload your email list to Amplify, which will create a custom audience from your email list where you can advertise to on Facebook. So basically what this allows you to do is to run ads to your email list uh, by creating ads on Facebook 
to this specific audience. And Amplify will create that audience for you. That's the fourth app that's included in Amplify. The next one is the ad decorator. Now this allows you to decorate the text that you have on Facebook. So let's copy a part from my website. Let's say we're gonna copy this text. We wanna create an ad, we paste the text in here. And what this allows you to do is you have different modes in here where you can choose from. So when I select my line and I select the first one, it will add at the beginning and the end uh, the thing that I'm going to add. So let's say I wanna add a star. I can add a star automatically. Do you see that? This is how my text is being created. It decorates the text with these stars. And I can also say, okay, I wanna add bullet points, for example. So let's say we search for bullet. Now this is not really bullet point, but it's just the ID. It's going to add that in the front of the line. Probably I should have selected the line. Uh, or you could do one thing at the end here uh, where you can say, okay, flower, and this way you can create ads that really stand out by using these emojis in your ad, in your writing. Or let's say you wanna add 10 flowers, you can use this one and you can say, okay, this needs to be 20. And now when you press a flower, it will add 20 of these emojis. And this allows you just a nice extra tool to make your ads stand out by using these emojis in your ads. Then the next thing that we have when we go to our dashboard, is the page targeter. So when we go to the page targeter, we can search for specific pages. So let's say we want to search for marketing again, and we search, as you can see here, it, it has 20 entries. So we can also say we want to have 300 or 200 for marketing. It's going to search for all these pages in here, and it's going to show these entries in here. Now this needs, to load a little longer because of 200, but you can see we have 200 results. We can also show them all here on one page. And what we can do is we can create favorites in here. And let's say marketing, we want to add this to online marketing. We want to add this page, for example, to online marketing. And then when we go to our favorites, you can see here in online marketing, when we want to view this page, you can see all these pages and you can target these pages again that will open the interest finder, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's, it's the interest finder so that you can find these interests and can target these interests and advertise to these specific interests with the page finder. And that's what the page targeter is about. It's searching for pages on Facebook that you can target with Amplify. Then the last one is the Facebook ROI calculator that allows you to calculate the return of investment on your ads. So here it asks a few simple questions. How much do you want to spend each month? So let's say you want to spend two and a half thousand on Facebook ads and you expect that you are going to pay, let's say 61 cents per click. My conversion rate is about 15% or 13%. And what percent of your leads turn into customers? Now let's say 4% turns into customers and my product is 100 $97. Now you can see that when I spend two and a half thousand dollars, I'm going to make $1,681 in profit. Now let's say that I'm not paying 61 cents per click, but I'm paying a dollar per click. When I do that, I only have $61. But when I pay 114 per click, I'm losing $250. So this tool allows you to calculate what you need to spend on your cost per click, what you need to uh, watch out for how much you want to spend in cost per click, your, how you can improve your conversion rate, because when you improve your conversion rate, you can see your profit also increases and the number of leads that turn into customers when that increases, you can also see the profit increases at the right side. And that is what Applify is all about. It allows you to lower your ad cost by using these tools. Now, if you're interested in picking up one of these tools, again, there's a link in the description of this video that will redirect you to my website, uh, where you're also going to get my extra bonuses. You will also see the pricing. I can share that quickly with you. Uh, because if you're quick, uh, then the first, let me see here, let me go to the pricing. When you purchase this in the first four hours after launching, you're gonna pay $32. This is lifetime access, $32 only. 
if you see this video a little later, um, it will cost you $37 for the front end product. Now you can read more about the upsells as well. There are some upsells, also some other additional products that you can pick up if you like to. Uh, so make sure you check out the link below this video. Uh, and also if you like to see more of my video reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so that you get notified as well. Uh, and this is what my review is all about. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day and hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.